Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, this time we're out here at Pima Tuning State Park. Again, um, I did a previous video at uh, Pima Tuning State Park. Uh, this time we're out here at a trail, it's called the Panadaram Trail. Um, this is on the Ohio side of Pima Tuning Lake. Uh, if you saw my other video doing the Pima Tuning Spillway Trail, uh, we were on the Pennsylvania side on that one. And that one obviously ends up at the spillway. Um, if you haven't saw that one, go back and check that one out because that was a pretty cool one. Um, but like I said, we're on the Panadaram Trail today on the Ohio side of Pima Tuning Lake. And uh, this is actually a trail uh, that's under development right now. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of the trail there. Um, they have a gate up uh, way over there. Uh, so, But it is um, open to people to walk on, even though there's a gate up there. Um, this one is a short one. It's like a point nine um, out and back. Uh, this one actually goes out on a spur that goes out onto uh, Pima Tuning Lake. So at the end of this trail, um, we should have a pretty good view of Pima Tuning Lake uh, from the Ohio side. So uh, yeah, with that said, um, we're going to head out on the trail, see what this one has to offer. Like I said, it's an under under development trail. So they're still trying to get it certified. Um, but I heard it's still pretty nice, and uh, we're going to find out today. So as always, if any point uh, in this video, if you like what you see, be sure to smash that like button. And uh, feel free to subscribe. I would appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, let's head out on this trail, see what we can find. So since this is a, a trail that goes out on the spur, um, out on the Pima Tuning Lake there, uh, this is going to be mainly a dirt path, as we can see. They said it was heavily wooded, which I agree, and that there was plenty of shade, so that's probably a good thing. Uh, it's about 83 degrees here today, so it might get kind of sweaty, um, but this is only a .9 mile trail, so... It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, hopefully we don't encounter much mud, but I think we will, so we'll see how it goes. So from what I've read online uh, about this area is that it used to be a campgrounds out here. It's now an abandoned campgrounds. Um, so I'm not sure if there'll be any remnants of campground stuff any buildings or anything like that I'm not real sure I guess we'll find that out as we go down the trail uh, some people did say that this trail was a little bit overgrown in spots uh, meaning that the weeds and trees and stuff had grown over the trail so I'm not sure we'll see about that too um, but I don't know what kind of remnants we're gonna find of any kind of campground but uh, I guess that awaits to be seen and like I said hopefully at the end of this trail uh, we will have a pretty good view of Pima Tuning Lake from this Ohio side so yeah so far not too bad it is pretty heavily shaded so I'm glad of that but anyway let's keep on going down the trail here turned into kind of like a, a four-wheeler path you can kind of see it there so yeah, so anyway, let's head on down this trail and see what we can see. So, being in a dense forest like this, um, it's become immediately clear uh, that the mosquitoes were going to be a problem. Uh, I promptly got attacked by a whole bunch of mosquitoes. So, luckily I brought bug spray with me. Um, some other people have told me that I need to bring bug spray because some other videos I hadn't brought it and got attacked so I did bring it this time and promptly sprayed myself down so now they are not a problem anymore so go me anyway let's uh, continue on this trail
So just like on all other trails, um, the white hash marks on the trees always denote where the trail is going. Uh, so like if you have intertwining trails, um, one might be white, one might be red, one might be yellow. So they've already started the process of getting this into an official trail um, by putting white hash marks on the trail, on the trees. And that denotes that the trail goes that way. So as I'm walking farther back into this trail, uh, I do notice that um, you can see it there, that the trail is kind of getting a little bit overgrown right there. Um, not terrible, but I mean, it could be trimmed up a little more. Um, also, same way behind me there. Um, but that brings me to a, a good point here, uh, that when you go on trails like this, uh, especially, you know, heavily wooded, you know, stuff like this, um, it's important to not go hiking in shorts in this kind of um, conditions. Uh, I always wear long pants when I um, go hiking on a, a woods trail like this. Um, why, you might ask? Because poison ivy hides in all this brush. Everywhere, like all along this trail here, could be poison ivy. Um, you don't want to get that stuff on your legs. It might be a little treacherous if it's like 80 something degrees um, to wear long pants. It might be treacherous, but you got to protect yourself. Uh, like so many times I've been out <laughs> before I realized it, um, I made the mistake of hiking like this in shorts and I've come back with the signs of poison ivy all over my legs. So remember that everyone always hike in long pants in these kind of conditions because you don't want to deal with poison ivy on your legs. And also watch when you have to go through tight spots that have a lot of brush and stuff. Get poison ivy on your arms and legs and stuff. Um, yeah, so you definitely don't want to do that. So always remember to wear long pants when you go hiking in the woods. It'll save your butt. Okay, no, 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 that's not the end of the trail. At least I hope not. Um, that's just a little fishing spur, or a fishing path um, that somebody's carved down in there uh, just to go fishing on this end of the lake. Uh, they have those all around. If you're familiar with Pima Tuning Lake, uh, you know that there's all kinds of little paths like that to go all around and uh, people just go down in there and fish. So, no, I hope that's not the end of it, so. Stay tuned and we'll see if we can get to the end of this and uh, get some great views of the lake. So the path down here gets a little bit more uh, overgrown or grown in, whatever you want to call it. Um, not too bad though. All these bushes here are all briar bushes or pricker bushes, depending on where you're from. Those things will get you if you don't watch out especially when they're overgrown over top of the trail like that. So you got to be careful. They'll snag your clothes and stuff, and they'll actually prick you good enough to draw blood. So you want to always be careful of those, and uh, you don't want to get pricked by them. Definitely not fun. Record.
So here's another one of those little uh, fishing areas that somebody has made along the lake here. And looks like they had a campfire at one time too. Somebody said that there was a, an old campsite back here that somebody left a lot of trash. So um, I don't see much trash, but there's another uh, campfire pit over there too. So, But let's go out and see what the lake looks like from here. So after looking around a little bit, um, as I said, there's some fire pits there. Um, after looking around a little bit, I noticed that there is a lot of trash <laughs> in those fire pits. Um, this one over here has uh, a bunch of glass shattered in it. Glass bottles, beer bottles, uh, stuff like that. Just a whole lot. Um, that brings me to another point. If you're going to camp out like this on the side of a lake, uh, go fishing for the night or the weekend or whatever, don't leave your trash lay around. That's a no-no. Pick up your trash, take it with you, dispose of it properly. That's dangerous. If people bring their children out here to, to hike on this trail, the children get into that glass, there's going to be some problems. If they get cut and everything, there's going to be problems. So if you ever do that, don't leave your trash lay around. Take it with you. So it looks like we're coming up on the end of the trail or the end of the spur, whichever one you want to think of it as, but it looks like we are coming up to it. I'm not sure what the three dots mean. Maybe that's the end of the trail. Not sure. But anyway, let's go through these bushes here and see what kind of view we have of the lake here. So that's not too bad of a view of the lake. Um, this spot here is a little bit overgrown. Can't really see. I snuck through that little path right there. And that's where I got the wider shot. So it was a little bit um, better of a view there. But if you had a keen eye, you would notice that those last two uh, lake shots there, plus this one here, look very similar. Did you notice that? That's because these spots... These three spots are only about 100 foot apart. So, so naturally the view is going to be the same. But uh, nonetheless, it's still a pretty good view of the lake. Pima Tuning Lake is a re really beautiful lake, so um, not really a surprise. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy coming on this trail with me today. Um, wasn't anything complicated, just a simple trail. Nice and flat. Um, but nonetheless, we had a good time. Uh, we had some good views of the lake, too. And uh, all in all, it was a good day. So anyway, uh, if you haven't done so, be sure to click the like button uh, if you enjoyed what you saw. And uh, please click the subscribe button. And you can come along with me on some more of my adventures. And uh, we'll have a good time. So anyway, I'm going to sit here and enjoy some more of this lake view out here. Um, before I head back to the car and uh, try to soak it in. So anyway, with that said, I'll see you on the next one, guys.